I don't know about you, but I just cannot stop staring at this. It is absolutely stunning. You are looking at the Carina Nebula, a place where stars are born. For all its color and brightness, this is the first time we're seeing it with this clarity. That's because NASA's new James Webb Telescope uses infrared technology to bring distant and dim images into focus. Mm. The telescope that captured these images is a milestone for NASA, a chance to look at the composition of stars, galaxies, and the entire universe. It's the product of an international partnership that will look deeper into the universe than ever possible before. And its namesake grew up in Granville County. <laughs> WRL's Ken Smith takes us to a special viewing held at none other than JF Webb High School. Sky watchers, this is it. Space fans around the world like India, Israel, Canada, as well as Oxford, North Carolina, gathered to watch NASA's latest reveal, four spectacular new images from the Webb Telescope. It's named after former NASA Administrator James Webb, son of J.F. Webb, the namesake for Webb High School. Yay! The new images were worth cheering about. Looking at the images today, the, the resolution of course, is, is something that uh, pops right out at you. WREL Space contributor Tony Rice says the images offer details never seen before. We're able to see through the dust and gas of the nebula, of the Carina Nebula that we saw today. Another image called Stefan's Quintet shows the formation of four galaxies. I got chills, first of all, I guess because I was a Star Trek geek from way back. Valerie Ann Johnson, a dean at Charles University and a Granville County native, couldn't believe her eyes. I was imagining that here I am seeing, witnessing birth of new galaxies, new stars. And how amazing it is and how much how much of an improvement it is from the Hubble Space Telescope. Caleb Henderson is part of an astronomy club and he's proud of his hometown's newfound fame. That someone here from Granville County established one of the greatest things in NASA history so far. Astronomy Club founder Rob Rivers says this event may inspire more local students to pursue STEM careers. We've been talking about the James Webb Space Telescope, how it was built, what it means, you know, what we can learn from it. So this was fantastic to see uh, these first images. Ken Smith, WREL News. So cool. The Natural Science Museum in downtown Raleigh has a special event tonight with scientists speaking through each one of the images from the Webb Telescope. Doors opened at 6 o'clock and the program begins at 7 o'clock tonight.